Hey guys, good morning. Um, so I did look at the HSI because I've been hearing a lot of news about it and that HSI is, is essentially the Hang Seng Index. Um, and it's actually right here. And it's been dropping dramatically, um, like ridiculously dramatically. And um, as of right now, I do have it, um, you know, I do think it's gonna drop, uh, you know, exponentially more and more towards the range of like early 2000s, which, which would probably match um, somewhere along the lines of the tech bubble. So I do think that it has another, you know, at worst case scenario, 50% to like another 15% to go. Um, and, and this is essentially just, uh, it's because of uh, the, the Yang, and it's because of China's markets being, you know, I don't know, I don't know exactly know what's going on. I know the the Yang is affecting, being affected a whole bunch. Um, but this video isn't really to go into the the the, the fundamentals of why the HSI is is dropping. It's more of along the sense of what we can do um, to actually take advantage of that, right? Unfortunately, it's just that's just how it is. If the market's going down, you want to keep shorting it until essentially it goes to zero, <laughs> right? So you can take advantage by actually shorting. Um, Baba or Neo or any kind of um, any kind of chart uh, of Chinese uh, anything to do with like the Chinese market, right? And even right now, I think that right now Neo is actually headed towards a really horrible spot. Um, I think it's right now. Right now, it's hitting previous highs of you know 2019, right? I do think that it's going to probably end up going back down to like a rate easel easily uh, i don't know man it looks like it's going to go back to a range of maybe like five dollars or so so i will be buying puts on neo for maybe a couple months out it does look like it's going to be closing a bearish month on a vc side which is horrible so i can definitely see neo back at like five dollars by the end of this year i will more than likely buy uh you know neo puts just just a just a hedge um right in case we do end up um just just to play the the chinese side right but again HSI is, is dropping dramatically. Um, this doesn't really affect, um, you know, American markets. It's not going to affect your NASDAQ or your ARCA um, stocks. And overall, it's not really going to bring a big effect to us. But I think BABA right now is a pretty early ages, uh, pretty early stages of where it can drop. I do think it's going to break the lows of 57 bucks. So I think NEO and BABA are a really good standpoint of just, you know, shorting the main, um, you know the main ticker is that when you think about China, you think probably you'll think about Baba, you think about Neo, right? Or really any. I can guarantee you that because of that, you know, any any Chinese stock is going to hurt extremely horribly. And like I said, if, if we think that the HSI or, or, or the or, or the Hang Seng Index can drop fifteen percent to fifty percent, and it looks like it will, you know, you can definitely short Baba and Neo. To, to, to potentially a lot lower. I personally think that NEO, I'll probably take in shorts on NEO today. Um, like I said, I do think that NEO has a really good shot at hitting, um, you know, $5 again sometime before the end of the year, right? I, I would definitely not, you know, not be surprised if we drop to five dollars by december to be completely honest and again it, it kind of sucks uh considering neo was you know such at a high price point of 64 bucks but i think as of right now you know if you take that drop you, you, that's that's a 50 percent drop which would kind of equate to maybe like a 500 percent return in, in um what, what is it called in in um you know 500 percent return in like your money right um which is what i'm thinking right so i had a previous range here where i thought it was going to hit a couple of uh, a couple like a week ago or so um it was actually going to be in the top of the range of 1057 towards 949 so i think right now we're still oh, we're at 1013 jesus you had a massive drop of one full dollar um you know i would be perfectly comfortable buying puts for like december on neo um you know for i don't know, like five dollars just to see how it plays out right so i mean we can even use we can just use bar chart to see where can what the prices are for for december neo is it called adr that's weird sure that's fine yeah that's fine so we can look for december right i'll look for late late december and i'll look for puts for like five dollar puts so a five dollar put would cost you eleven dollars right now, and 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 I think there's an extremely extremely high. I'll probably buy like ten of them today because I think there's an extremely high probability of it hitting. But yeah, there you go. It's just because because the Hang Index is going to be down. And I think it's going to stay down. I think it's a really good idea uh, to short Baba and Neo, especially with you know us being still you know in a bear sentiment for the whole stock market, right? Yes, I am 100% bullish on stocks right now, but Neo and Baba more than likely are going to keep trailing down just because of, of of how bad the Hang Seng Index is doing, and because they're, they're the bigger tickers related to these stocks, I think they're going to keep dropping. And just TA looks disgusting, um, and and I think Neo is the the way to go. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, the HSI around 6%. I think shorting BABA and NEO is going to be a great idea for the next three months. 
And I think American markets are going to be unaffected by this. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.